G'day guys and what's going on? How are we all? Welcome to the Sunday Beginner Series where each and every Sunday I cover topics to help beginners build a great foundation into this awesome, awesome sport known as lock sport and lock picking. As promised, I am going to be going through bypassing and bypassing locks. Uh, I'm going to cover two basic bypasses today and we will go through different bypass methods each Sunday uh, I will just let you know straight up, I was going to include padlock shims in today's video, but I have just torn my office apart and my portable lock picking station and cannot find my padlock shims anywhere. I have lost them. Don't ask me how, I have no bloody idea, but they've just gone and vanished. But anyway, I'll order some more and we will be able to... Uh, go through padlock shims as well but wanted to cover two very easy and two basic bypass methods today uh, one you can make yourself the bypass tool very very easily which I have done or you can buy them and the other one it's a lot easier to buy than try and make them yourself uh, to be completely honest with you they're easy enough cheap enough to buy so let's quickly pan down and have a look at the two we will be covering today. So as you can see, I have two sitting right here on the bench, except for that key. I have bypass knife and the comb picks. These are two very, very efficient and easy way to bypass locks, providing you can actually use these on the locks. There's a few different things that come into play first one we will cover and it is one of the easiest methods especially for little luggage locks and stuff like that is your bypass knife I have two makes and models here I have a really nice expensive multi-pick bypass knife and a cheap Chinese pick bypass knife uh, this was actually a short hook a multi-pick short hook I put into a lock and it was just it's time to die I didn't have any tension on the lock put it in and the tip snapped but where there is a broken pick there is a knife ready to be used so this one here is perfect for circular locks such as the disc lock for your uh, motorbike I've got here I haven't got a tension tool for it yet. I've got to order one in. But perfect for picking these and for bypassing unshielded padlocks as well. Uh, same goes with the cheap Chinese pick. Great for bypassing. So where there's a broken pick, you have a bypass tool. Now, I have gutted this cheap Chinese clear see-through training lock that uh, I hit with a compound bow in the videos you've seen and then smashed it with the uh, wood splitter but I've gutted this so I can show you what we are trying to do so I've got two actuators sitting there and the core now when it comes to bypassing using a knife you want to make sure and find a lock that isn't shielded so a lot of lock manufacturers now are putting shielding in the back of the core here so all this is covered in at the back so you don't have anywhere to get your bypass knife through to the back of your lock to manipulate the actuators so that's one downside uh, the other one is if they use ball bearing locking systems, but luckily this one doesn't. We have locking poles which look like that. So these extend out into the cutouts on your shackle. And they are spring loaded, so you have a spring in the middle pushing the two out so they lock in. When you use a bypass knife, these are sitting in, and I'm not going to put it in all the way. Nope, maybe I am. I'm trying to do this in a way that makes it a bit easier to show you. So these would be sitting in here. 
pushed out into the shackle and you have a spring in the centre. When it comes to using your bypass knife on these, you want to take your knife, push all your key pins and drivers right up as high as they will go, right through to the back until you can feel the tip of your knife sitting on that actuator. If it's a single sided, it's very easy. If it's double sided, it takes a little bit more skill or a little bit more technique. So you push all your key pins up and your drivers and you go through until you can feel that actuator. Once you can feel it in the back, you then pretty much all you're doing is just hooking onto it and sliding it back like that, pulling it out of the cutout. Now if you have a double locking system like this one, what I like to do is I focus on one side first, pull that one down as I hold light tension on my shackle, just to lift my shackle up just enough so that that locking pull won't sit back into it. Then I use the knife to hook onto the other one, pull that down and then the shackle pops open. Very, very quick and easy methods to bypass unshielded padlocks so that is pretty much just bypassing a unshielded padlock with a knife very simple to do it's a lot of fun uh, it does take a little bit of practice to be able to get it each time but a very simple method to bypass another very very simple method uh, comb picks and again, just like the bypass knife, it all depends on the lock. These, you think, are like a skeleton key to all locks, but lock manufacturers know about this bypass tool. They know how effective it is, how easy it is. They have measures out to stop it. This was a big design flaw in a lot of locks, and unfortunately, some manufacturers still produce this floor in their locks and I have two locks right here with that floor these are both master locks I have a 150 and a 40 millimeter one that was sent in for me to use and was told to use a uh, comb pick on it so I'm going to but we have a pretty nice lock we have some reasonably good bidding for a master lock and we have a hexagonal shackle so that it can't be shimmed from the top. You can't get a round shim onto a shackle like this, which is a good thing. So we've got two good things about this lock. We have good bidding and a good shackle. Downside is the defect with these locks, which allows us to use comb picks. Uh, lock works beautifully. Just want to point that out first. But if you have a look, we've got our core here. And some of these you can just make out where the chambers are. So we've got a core all the way down here. And we've got this massive chamber for each pin going right up to normally about there. Uh, then they fill it in. So we've got giant chambers, which is the downside to these locks. If you have enough room in your lock to be able to push your key pin, your driver pin, right up into the Bible or the lock, then you can use one of these comb picks because that is what these are designed to do. Uh, very, very quick and easy method to bypass. You just want to slide it into your lock, now providing as well that you have a keyway that will allow these to go in. You line, because this is a five pinner, I'm going to use a five pin comb and you align each comb tooth to line up with the pin. Then it's just a matter of working it in and lifting each one of those pins right up into the Bible like that. which is a bit, I think I've slipped off a bit there. Yep. 
and then you just got to work it. There we go. Normally it's a lot quicker than that. That was just sticking for some reason. So we'll do it again. Just line it up with our pins. We'll push everything right up. Work it through. And there we go. So a very, very easy method to bypass a lock. Providing you have a giant Bible to be able to push everything right up into it. So we've got a smaller lock here. As you can see. But again they have giant chambers so that we can push everything up being a four pinner let's grab the four pin comb push it right up work it try and line these up on the pins and there we go pushed everything right up into the bible and then we can bypass it and get an open. Very, very easy bypass method. Uh, the comb picks, you probably could make these, but they're cheap and easy enough just to purchase. A great little bypass tool. I have reviewed these in a video. So definitely go and check out the review video. These are by Sparrows, the Comb 45s. Absolutely great, great little bypass tool. I have quite a bit of fun with these. Uh, Pretty much any, when it comes to the comb 45s, any 40 or 50 millimeter padlock, uh, four or five pinner that has big, big chambers in, these will work. So these will actually bypass quite a few locks that manufacturers still have the same defect in. But there we go. Two very, very basic uh, bypass methods. I hope I have explained them as simply as possible uh, to help you out. So we will cover more bypass tools as we go through the next few Sundays. If I can get my camera to sit right. So, as always, always follow the case, get Lock Sport Legal, you know, don't go do anything stupid. Please jump down the bottom here is that subscribe button, hit that one, and right next to it is that little notification bell. You want to click that one as well. That way you can stay up to date. As soon as I upload a video, you'll be one of the first to know. As you know, I try to upload two to three to four videos per week, depending on work and everything else that I've got going on around here. Don't forget to come and join us on Discord, Extraordinary League of Pickers, which is that right there. Link is in the description, so click on that description, go down to the link, click that, come and join us, you will not be disappointed. Don't forget, you can also find Dark Arts Lockpick on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter, where we'll put up post photos of what's going on in the background. All the fun stuff that happens around here, pretty much. If you're looking for great equipment at very competitive prices like these, please check out locksmithstoolbox.com. They're an awesome Australian company, and as you know, that's where I get all my lockpicking equipment from. If you would like to get in contact with me, oh, just before I say that, the link to that website is in the description as well. Uh, if you would like to get in contact with me, you can contact me through any social medias, Discord, or send us an email at darkartslockpicking at gmail.com, and I'll get back to you. If you like what you see, please give a thumbs up. Really do appreciate it. And until next time, cheers, guys, and uh, try your hand at a bit of bypassing. Till next Sunday. <laughs>